To make a braid, you need three pieces of yarn or material or bundles of yarn. I've got a piece of red, a piece of white, and a piece of purple here. We're going to learn to braid today. Gather up the ends of your yarn. Match all the ends together as best as you can. We're going to make the knot. Wrap one yarn around the other. See how it's looped? One goes over the other. You've made a loop you can go through. Take the end of the yarn. It looks like a backwards E, doesn't it? Take the end of the yarn and push it through the middle like this. There it is on the other side. Grab the end and pull. This looks like the pretzel. This is a pretzel knot. And pull until it tightens. Now your three pieces of mater or material, or in this case yarn, are all together tied with one knot. Now take a piece of tape and tape that knot to your table because you don't want this moving. And when you braid, you cross one end over the middle, such as this. When I begin, I'm going to start working up near my knot, and I'm going to take my right yarn, which is purple, and put it over the middle. White. White yarn. And then that makes the purple in the middle, so then I take my red, and I cross it over that one in the middle, and the red becomes the one in the middle. I take my white, and I cross it over, and the white becomes the middle. I take my purple, and I cross it over, and the purple becomes the middle. Right, red, left, the white, right, the purple, left, the red. And you can see that you're forming a braid here. So which one is in the middle now? It's the red. So if you need to push the yarns up to get it closer together, do that. So it's always right and then left. Right and then left over the one in the middle. Right and then left. Pull out your yarn so they're nice and straight. Right, and then left. Right, and then left. Right, and then left. And you keep going until you run out of yarn. This is what it looks like looking down. Pull out your lines and just keep braiding right over the middle, left over the middle, right over the middle, left over the middle until you are done or run out of yarn. Remember to pull it up a little bit, snug it up so you don't have a really loose braid and keep your lines separate because they are easy to get tangled if you don't separate them as you go. I like to hold mine off of the table when I braid just because it makes my hands go a lot faster. Once you get the hang of this it's not hard to know how to do it, it just takes practice. See, I can take it, separate my yarns better. Alright, I'm running out of yarn, so this is what I do. Here's my pieces. Here's where the braiding ended. All I do is make another loop. There's my loop, putting one yarn over. You can even put it over the braid if you want. Take the end 
three colors on the ends and push it through and grab it. Here comes that pretzel knot again. And pull. And that knot is going to hold your braids from coming apart. And I think we should just trim it to make it look nicer because there's one that's too long. There. And there we have a lovely braid handmade by you. Once you have yours done, take this off of the table and then just throw it away. There you have a lovely braid that you have created.